can be scary growing up in the world. There can be a lot of uh, frightening things that happen. Um, there can be frightening things like losing someone that we love or encountering people who are violent and abusive or take advantage of us. Uh, there could be fearful things that are just happening inside of our minds where we're like really young and maybe afraid of monsters or imaginary things, things that maybe aren't really there, um, but we're frightened of something that our mind is making up and we don't seem to be able to escape that sometimes as a kid. Um, the world can be really challenging and fear is something that we all face. And sometimes fear can be very crippling and sometimes fear can be very motivating and that's interesting to me. But what about fear is so unhealthy? What about fear is so unhealthy? I would say what's unhealthy about fear is not really using it to our advantage. It's not unhealthy to have fear. I think What's unhealthy is not using the fear to discover something about ourselves and something that it can reveal to us. So when we look at a fear and the fear is like, you know, trying to tell us this thing and we're afraid of what it's saying, what if we just look at that fear square in the face? Say, okay, you're saying this. Is there anything else you need to tell me? Where are you coming from? Okay, and if that thing happens, then what? Is there really anything for me to be afraid of? What if we just look at our fears and we just address them for what they are? I mean, if we're not afraid to look at our fear, maybe the fear will stop annoying us. <laughs> maybe it will get bored, right? If it, can't, if it can't have an effect upon us, it'll probably give up its game, right? Like if I'm tickling my sister when I'm little and, you know, I'm like the tickler and like she's freaking out and whatever, it's fun, right? But if I'm tickling her, I tickle someone and they have no reaction, like it's not really fun and I don't feel like doing it anymore. So what if you just take a look at your fear and it pokes at you and it does its thing and you just look at it. You're not reacting to it, you're just looking at it and you're like, okay, I see you. Interesting. Are you done yet? Maybe the fear will get bored. Maybe it will lose its its desire to uh, antagonize. Um, because that's really what I think will happen when we just get honest with ourselves and realize that it's just this thing that's trying to get our attention. So what if we give it our attention, but we don't react to it? So what is it that you're afraid of right now? What is something that a thought that you have or a circumstance or situation in your life right now or a relationship situation that you have that you're afraid of? What is it? What exactly is the fear? What are the thoughts involved with the fear? What are you thinking? Let's just take a look together. Let's just look at that fear for what it is, as it is, without trying to change it. Gonna take a look. Just continue to look at it. Yeah, maybe you'll breathe as you're looking at it. Just keep looking at it. Feel whatever you feel, just look at that fear. Just allow your feelings to do whatever they're doing. Just pay attention to the fear. I'm not trying to do anything, we're just observing it. What are the thoughts? Maybe notice the feelings and the sensations. Just look at the fear.
That's right, keep looking. Just look. That's right, keep looking. Just be with the fear as it is. Just practicing facing and not resisting the fear. I'm going to say that the fear is not the problem. It's the resistance to the fear that's giving us most of our problem. That's the conflict. When we can look at the fear, we're not afraid to look at the fear itself. We start to overcome the fear. We stop reacting and responding to the fear. Now that's really what we're looking for. Whatever the fear is, it's not the fear that's the big deal. It's the response we have to the thoughts that make up this thing that we're afraid of. It's our response that's most challenging. Right? The thoughts are the thoughts, but it's the feelings, it's the impact in our bodies, in our emotions, that really is like what we don't like. The thought itself is very weak when it's not... Uh, when it's not engaging the emotional and physiological part of our being. So we're learning to let the body just let go of its response to this fear. Just allow the body to relax in the face of the fear. That's right, just be with the fear and relax the body. Allow the body to let go. Just disengaging from the response. Not being afraid to let go. Just let go of the response and breathe through the nose. Out through the mouth, relaxing. Just being with whatever's there. Fear has no power over us that we don't allow it to have. So this is just a practice of not allowing fear to control us. Just looking at the fear, standing up in the face of the fear, smiling in the face of the fear. Just letting fear be whatever it is. Not making it wrong, not making ourselves wrong. Breathing. Ah, yeah. Just looking. Maybe you're noticing some joy coming. Maybe you're noticing that, hey, this isn't so bad after all, that I can actually be with this thing and it doesn't have to bother me or hurt me in any way. being with it. Wonderful. So this practice is just facing the fear, acknowledging the fear, witnessing the fear, noticing the sensations and the reaction in the body, and really just letting it all go. Just letting go. Just letting go. Very good. All right, a little exercise with fear. Thanks for uh, taking this time to give this uh, experience to yourself. All right, I'd love to hear what your experience was with it. If you have a chance to write about it, let me know. All right, thanks, blessings.